Hey, what is up everyone? Danny and Alex. In the previous video, we looked at some boxing techniques to the body, body shots. In this video, I'm going to show you how we train them on the focus mitts as well as the body protector. So check it out. Okay, so let's look at body shots here. So using the focus mitts, what I want Alex to do is just like the previous video, learn to sidestep first on his right and then back to his left and come back to center, right? In reality, once you've done your body shots, you don't always come back to center. You're going to have three locations you can move your feet. Number one, back into place, but you can also move away to the left or to the right. So when I want to hold the pads for him, what I'm going to do is place the mitt exactly where the target would be. So in this case today, we're going to look at that last variation of the uppercuts to the body. All right, so what I want him to do is half step here and go body shot and then come back to the center. Okay, so one more time here. Every time you practice, make sure your feet are well placed. The most common mistakes is people will just throw with the arm from that place and just swing it. And number two, they'll also drop before because they want to generate a little bit more power. The thing is, you don't have power if you don't hit the target, right? You're just punching air. I don't want him to telegraph his punches, so I want him to move his hips with his feet to load up that punch. So as he moves to the side, boom, and then that shot is there, the glove come back right at the position to protect himself. So one more time here to the side, that's his body shot. Now if we worked onto the liver side, it'll be the same thing. That's his body shot here. So here, notice how we want to lean our body weight onto our lead leg, so that's the post, so that way there, because he's slipping at the same time, he has that anchor point to push off into a lever into the punch. So from here, boom, that's the liver shot. So again on the right side, step, and then on to the left. And these are great ways to start out practicing your body shots. Building on this, we can also use the previous technique where I want him to just drop down. That's called a sit, right? So we're just squatting low. So imagine someone threw a jab and you just boom, let it pass. Maybe a one, two, boom, boom, and just let it pass. So that's the movement you want to visualize. So as he drops down with a sit now, I'm going to wait for that body shot. But look how he turns the knuckles to the side. So if you stay upright and you lean or step, you want to throw it almost like a uppercut motion. We call this a shovel hook. And now if you drop down low, it won't be the same point of impact. So now you want to hit with your knuckles and turn sideways to have more impact. But now look at where my position is. My elbow is already protecting that side. So he wants to loop a little around it and catch me behind the elbow right here. When he sits, boom, right to here. So I'll have him practice this with the sit, so we'll go sit down, boom, loop it in. Again, sit down and boom. So I place my focus pad exactly where the target is. Boom. And one more, boom. And then we could practice having him slip, or I should say sit on the jab, and look, bam. And again, bam. And that is a great way to practice beginning hook punches to the body on the focus mitts. Now building on this as well, as I mentioned earlier, is I don't want Alex to stay into the center. So for example, if he threw a hook, let's say to the body here, boom, instead of coming back to the middle now, since he's already taken a step, I want him to pivot towards his right side and create that angle out. So as he throws the body shot, boom, and then look, he's out of range for any firing attacks from his opponent. So one more time, as he throws that body shot here, boom, and then he's out. Okay, so that forces the opponent, in my case I'm the pad holder, but the opponent that would be in front of you, to move as well. So as you move to the side here, I'm forced to follow him. And that's not exactly what I was intending to do. My intention after I've covered or even eaten that punch is to attack him back. But he's not in that place, so that way there, that creates a perfect angle for him to continue his counter punches. So one more time here, to the side, boom, and he's out. And one more, here. Boom, and sidestep out. All right, so now I put on the body protector. All right, this is huge, but this is good because now I can have Alex really ram in some body shots without having the training partner, or I should say, in my case, the coach getting injured, right? So um, if I don't want my focus mitts in the location to catch the punch, then I'm going to use my own body. So in this case, the body protector. That way there, he can create the perfect angles, the perfect distance for those body shots. So the reason why we wear this now is because instead of having me always positioning my pads, 
I can use my pads as punching, right? So for example, maybe he's gonna punch to the face with a jab and then low cross to the stomach. And now I don't have to just put my mitt here because now I can keep my hands here to see him exactly. He wants to visualize hands are up from his opponent and know the exact distance and angle for that precise body shot. So for example, high upstairs and across downstairs, right? So that's a basic combination. You should be um, always practicing right here, boom. Just to practice changing your level and don't forget to drop with your knees, boom, bam. So in reality, look, I can have him ensure to keep him honest that he's diving underneath a punch. So look, one, and then look, boom. And that's where the cross would hit. So if we drill this, boom, bam. And again, boom, bam. And one more, boom, bam. And that is a perfectly executed body shot. Now we can also work those shots to the body we talked about, right? So sidestep to his right, and look, I can keep my arms up like this and simulate an on-guard position and he could see exactly on target where he would be striking. So if he slips a jab at, with the sidestep, boom, and look, the opening is there. One more time, boom, and that's the opening. On this side, same thing, look, boom, opening is there. One more time, boom, and opening is there. Now I can have him throw those combinations. For example, jab to the face, cross to the body, back to a liver shot. Bam, boom, bam, while he's there, again. Bam, 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 and then maybe slip. Look, one, two, three to the body, and look, have him weave here, and then he can counter back, for example. All right, so one more time. Bam, 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 here, and back there. Those are just examples of some of the stuff we do in our own training. But the body protector, great tool, great piece of equipment for boxing coaches. So once again, here, maybe we can double up. So right to, uh, left to the body, come back upstairs, and then finish here. Or to the body, come back upstairs, go back downstairs. Bam, bam, bam. Now, once we have everything going, these are just a few examples, we could start to do some freestyle combinations. So let's show one here, Alex. Let's say a jab cross to the head and then liver shot, come back upstairs into a right hand. So if we put that all together, pop, 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 pop. Okay, one more time. And now I want him to step on an angle right after his punch. So one, two, boom, 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 and then he's out of there, right? So starting to put all of the elements that we just talked about in this video, the combinations are gonna be endless, but the point is having precise punching techniques using the body protector is a great piece of equipment to have in your training. All right, guys, so there you have it. A couple of combinations, training tips for you guys to practice those boxing techniques. Guys, hope you enjoyed this content. Leave us a thumbs up, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. Oh, yeah.